a little trip where I managed to break the top rod eye on one of my lay rods. So hopefully this is going to be quite a quick video because I'm going to try and do a little repair to it. I suspect what happened is while casting I kind of wound the leader in too far and the swivels either cracked or popped out the ceramic insert in that eye. So I've got a little pair of scissors there I can just snip that off and pull the leader out on the line. So it's fixed on with a bit of heat activated glue. I'm just going to use a lighter to add a bit of heat there. Just moving the thing while I'm doing it so I don't scorch anything. And then that should just pop off. So there we go. For replacement, I have a little selection box of eyes I, I bought from China via eBay. What I'm looking for is, is a reasonable fit. That one's just a little oversized. And that's not too bad. It's just a little too short. Rather than try and fill that gap, I think what I'm going to do, because it's such a cheap rod, is just trim the end off. So to work on the rod, I've got a little plastic box I can just drop the butt end in. And I'm going to prop this on a, on a little piece of 3B2. If I give the socket a quick measure again, I can roll a long blade of a craft knife over it. I want to gently cut through all the way round. So I'm not applying too much pressure because I don't want to crush it and split it. set the replacement eye on, I'm going to use a, a glue gun stick and just heat up the end with a lighter. I'm really only putting a, a, just a smear on and then quickly before it cools get the eye on and I can wipe off that excess mess. Yeah, I've managed to line that up okay. Really, the final job to do is just get rid of this shoulder on the old resin. It's quite a sharp edge and I don't want it cutting any line. So I've got a, a bit of what looks like 400 grit paper. I'm just gonna soften that and then I'll give it a couple of coats of acrylic varnish. So that's really it for this short video. I should be back with another project pretty shortly. Brendan from Brendan's Fabulous World of Fishing, who's another YouTuber, has challenged me to make some layers out of uh, Sharpie pens. So I've kind of been on with that project. I just need to go and catch some fish with them now. Hopefully, fingers crossed, maybe using this rod. See you soon, thanks for watching.